Hello guys, welcome to another of my videos. My name is Maya Marquez. On today's video, we're going to be reviewing slash unboxing the Bauer Pro DSLR and camcorder microphone. There's a beautiful day headed your way. Keep your head up, up, up. You'll be okay. A beautiful day waiting for you. So here's the deal. I went to Best Buy hoping to find the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. They didn't have one and I didn't really want it to wait. And so I want to give this a try. Here is also the reason why. Because the regular price for this condenser mic um, is actually $49.99. But when I was trying to find out more information about it, you know, what kind of reviews they were giving it online, so I went to search for it and then I found out that Target was doing an actual 50% off deal. Um, so they were selling the mic for $25. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'm a Best Buy. They have the mic, you know, uh, Target was doing the deal, but that's online. Now Best Buy has this awesome uh, system where um, they will match prices with competitor stores and um, not only they will match the prices they will actually beat it by a cent so i ended up paying 24.99 for the mic and i ended up walking out of the store with it in my hands according to all the reviews there's not many online it's not a popular mic uh it's not a well-known mic i guess now uh the packaging is not as amazing as you will find you know, with the road mics or any other uh, type of uh, mic, they decided to go with this uh, little hard to open boxes, as you know. So you're gonna need some major scissors. And so that's what we are, are actually going, go, 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 gonna do. I can't even speak right now. This is uh, what comes in it. So here is the manual. Um, and so you have an actual, um, if you see here, so you have a 90 degree uh, for when you're doing a one-on-one -on -one with the camera. So like I'm doing right now. Um, and then you also have a 120 degree, which actually will capture the sound for multiple people a little more broader, a little wider, I should say. And then I show you um, how it will work. Um, based on the actual structure. So um, this is how you will get the little tray. And uh, with that, you have a pouch for the mic. And I just dropped the battery. So um, here is the little uh, pouch for the mic. So we'll put that aside. Let me go down and get this. And uh, sorry guys, so here is the battery that uh, takes. So um, I will put all the specs, the, uh, exactly what comes on the package in the uh, description box below. So you get to see what items you're supposed to be expecting in the box. Um, if you don't get quite a, an actual um, cool, you know, view from my angle. Here is actually um, the little cover uh, pouch is a, not pouch, but this is like the wind, uh, um, foamy screen so it reduces some of the wind it's not gonna be as great as like a dead cat you know or something like that it will be amazing if this mic will have a dead cat just like the uh, video mic uh, pro but um, also you have the um, shoe mount so you have the actual shoe mount which the it has the two little um, rings to tie and also what I thought it was so cool because I don't have a camera with the shoe mount right now um, I can actually mount it to a tripod so essentially uh, where my phone is right now um, I can actually take my phone uh, holder and put it there uh, which will be right above the camera so giving me the same effect essentially um, so we have that and we also have the main 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 ingredient or the feature of it all which is the mic itself so 
the cord is kind of wrapped around. It seems like a fragile little core. It's not as tough. But here is what here is the deal. You can sort of uh, see the mics. Well, I can see the mics inside. So you have the 90 degree um, mic, which is the front mic. So it's the shotgun 90 degrees. Um, so when you're doing a one on one with the camera or interviewing somebody. Now, when you have a crew or when you have like, you know, uh, a couch full of people or like, you know, few people around the camera, then you're going to activate the 120, which will activate the sight um, microphones. So um, it will capture the sound from the sides as well. Uh, here are the uh, clicks on the top. So you can see it's off and you push it one click to 90 and then uh, second click to 120. The battery goes in this little cap on the back so you will unlock it just like that. It's one click backwards and um, and then that's where the battery actually goes. So um, let's actually do the test now that we know what we have and I just dropped the lid so let's get to it. Now, currently I've been recording this. As you can see, I have the uh, lapel mic on and it has such a short cable and I don't have an extension for it. And it's so awkward because I can't really do long movements. I can't move too far away from the camera. Now it's pretty good because in this control environment, I get fairly good sound because it is a stere stereo lapel mic um, and it works fairly well. It's close to my mouth, so I get this uh, nice, loud sound. It's not 100% crisp because it captures everything and because the mics are actually pointed towards the outside. So it sort of starts doing um, the equivalent of like a 120 degree because it's capturing everything from the sides, you know, and not quite um, uh, front and back. It's literally just like this. Um, so let me get this cap and then I'm going to open the little battery pouch. And so I do, I have to figure out how this goes. Okay, so uh, very simple. Very, very simple. Now it's not like, See, it's not like super smooth and nice um, as you would expect it to be. The quality of the plastics are not like amazing. So now, so now here I am trying to, there you go. Okay, I was going back a little far now that I find the right spot. And even though they give you the guides, it has the little, um, you know, arrows and things it's just so saturated it has so many like <sighs> anyway i really hope it it works like it's supposed to so this is how you put the little um shoe mount and so you click the top ring until you get a nice grip so you're you know you're not gonna lose it now for me, um, because I don't have a camera with the shoe mount, I don't need this, you know, essentially. Um, only if you had a camera with the shoe mount, then you will slide this into the shoe mount and then just tie it, you know, to get the grip. In this case, I'm going to use the tripod screw and screw it onto the tripod screw. Now here is the little sleeve and this little on this pretty nice you know it's not loose it's not tight so it's just there uh, and right now the mic is off and so like I said so we go to one click 91 uh, second click to 120 okay I'm gonna unplug this and then I'll come back to you guys with the mic on um, actually Let's do it better. 
I will come back with just the mics of the camera and then I will turn the mic on and then so we'll see the difference. Cross your fingers and hope it works well. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the internal mics of the camera one feet away. So this will be uh, the same sound two feet away. And this will be the sound about three feet away. So now let's connect the actual mic and find out what we get. Okay guys, we are back. This is one feet away with the um, microphone and it's on the 90 degree. So it will be one on one. This is at two feet away and still on 90 degrees, uh, which is only the microphone in the front. And then this will be the equivalent of three feet away um, with the same uh, 90 degree, sorry. <laughs> now um, I'm going to do uh, the same steps with the 120 degree, which will be activating the side uh, microphones of the uh, Bauer mic. And we're back. This will be the uh, 120 degree, one feet away, one foot away. Then we'll go to um, two feet. So this will be the same, 120, uh, two feet away. And then now we have the um, 120, about three feet away. And so we'll find out what kind of sound we're getting with it. I am crossing my fingers and I really hope it works because this will make my life so much easier. I don't have to deal with the lavalier mic, therefore I'm not confined to the cable, I can do better movements, uh, move a little more freely. So, okay guys, after analyzing the footage and sound that I just presented to you guys, I detected a background noise, which is that helicopter buzzing, da 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 da. Um, it's very low, but it's there. Now, that I have to explain to you why is there. It's not because of the mic, it is because of the camera that I use, which is the Hero 4. That Now, the Hero 4s are known to um, have that noise when you plug an external mic, when you uh, are using the camera with the Wi-Fi on, which that's what I do. I connect my phone to the camera, and so um, that is there. It's not because of the mic. Now, um, analyzing the sound itself, it did came lower um, in sound because it's actually making it a little crisper. I personally will be able to fix that in uh, post-production or um, actually, uh, when I'm, to be clear, is when I'm rendering my video actually. It's when I will be able to, um, you know, level up my sound while maintaining the crisp uh, sound that I'm getting with the uh, mic so actually I will give the mic I will say close to four stars because you do get a pretty decent sound um, especially when you're able to get the mic for a good price like I did uh, if you're gonna pay full price, then now you have to take into consideration then is that it's not a two hundred and fifty dollar road mic. Of course, you're not getting that high uh, of quality of sound, um, but you are able to do a lot with it. Now, it is designed for DSLR cameras. Now, um, when you're using this mic with a DSLR camera, you have to take into consideration that the camera will allow you to. Uh, um, you know mess with the sound you know with the mic you can uh, if you're not getting that much of a power then you can actually increase the detection on the mic um, you know make it more useful so that's something also to take into consideration if you have some sort of control over your external mic this will be a very decent mic for you for the price 
Um, one more thing that I uh, want to mention is that the indicator light on the top is not designed for it to be always on. This is a problem that I uh, encounter. Uh, well, actually, I was reading comments about the, the um, microphone and people were complaining about that. They were actually assuming that it was an LED light that was supposed to be on indicating that the mic is on. Uh, that's not what it's for. It clearly states that it is a low voltage indicator light, meaning that as your battery gets close to dead, it's when the light is supposed to uh, come on and you will be able to um, know that your battery is about to run out. That's what that light is for. So don't freak out if you get the mic and then you're going to be like the rest of these people, you know, thinking that, well, my mic is not, you know, working prop you know properly and I got to get a hold of the company and blah 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 no it clearly states um, the fact about that LED indicator so a low voltage indicator so I hope this information can help other people you know uh, thinking that their mics were broken when they were actually not um, so yeah I actually think that uh, I'm gonna keep the mic it's working uh, pretty nice uh, once I get my new camera then um, I should be able to get even you know greater sound with it so yeah um, I'm actually happy with it you know especially when I only paid uh, $25 so I hope you guys can get a deal. You can find a deal on it. If it's the mic for you, uh, give it a try. And if not, get yourself whatever will make you happy. Um, with that, I'll end this video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And um, I'll keep you guys posted. Bye.